I want to welcome you to the campaign and thank you for your business. We look forward to a long and lasting relationship. Uh, this video will demonstrate how the CRM works and how to navigate it. To start, please follow the link provided to you. Uh, please note that the credentials are case sensitive, so be sure to enter them correctly. My advice is to copy and paste them and then bookmark them in your browser and then save the password. On the left-hand side, you'll see a submission report. You're going to hit that. And then you're into the CRM. Please note that the default setting is the last five days of submissions. So if you're looking for anything prior to five days, it's not going to be there. And the reason for that is the longer the funnel is, the long the longer it's going to take for the system to load. So we limit it to the last five days. Now, if you're looking for something prior to the last five days, at the top of the page, you'll see a start date and an end date. Please use the start date. We'll use January 1st and the end date. We'll go here. And we're going to hit go. Please do not type in the date. It will not work. <clears throat> it will populate everything between those date ranges. So you see that how many submissions you have, how many of them were billable, percentage of billable, how many refund requests you had, the refund request granted, how many appointments you purchased, how many you have remaining. You have the status of the submissions. Now, on the, you'll see here that you have a refund request. So let's say that we sent you an appointment and the customer no-showed. You'll just type in no-show and hit refund request. What that is going to do is send me an email. I will then have to manually change it. I typically do them on Fridays and Tuesdays, all right? It will not automatically change for you, all right? If I changed it, uh, this will now go from green to orange as a no-show. If it was a DNC or not a single family residence or a uh, renter or whatever the disqualification was, the color will be in red. So it's color coordinated, set up like a stop sign. What's in green, you're paying for. What's in orange or red, you're not paying for. All right, orange is purgatory, it's kind of warning. So if it was could not contact, we're going to try to call them back. And if we're successful in resetting the appointment or rescheduling the appointment, we will send it to you as a new appointment, letting you know that we rescheduled it for you. You'll still have access to the original one for your convenience and records. If it's red, it's dead. Uh, you're not paying for it. On the left-hand side, you'll see, uh, you'll see two sets of recordings. On the left is the recording between the agent and the customer. On the right, it's the recording between the QC manager and the customer. If you hit click view, it will show you a Zillow image of the house. So you have an idea of what you're walking into. You can see pretty much what the estimate of the value of the house is. If you scroll down, you can see comps and what type of home it is. All right. 
you scroll over to the right, you'll see what county it is. You'll see who the closer was, who the agent was. So if you notice that Sophie sent three deals and all three of them were garbage, please let me know and I will take the appropriate action with Sophie or any other agent. All right. We rely on you to help us to manage a successful campaign. All right. This is when the call occurred and the timestamp that it occurred customer's first name, their last name, and their spouse. So this is the person that we actually spoke to. So if you happen to call them and Susan answers the phone, it may be possible that Anthony did not tell Susan about the appointment and Susan doesn't know about it. All right. That's quite possible. But again, um, uh, I just want to let you know. Here is their primary phone number, their secondary phone number, if we can get them, their email address, their address, city, state, zip code, the average electric bill based off a 12-month average, their electric company, their shade situation, their type of roof, their combined household taxable income, and any specific notes the agent thought that you could use to your advantage. Please pay attention to those notes as they're there to help you. I, for example, I had a cus I had a client who I personally sold the deal or scheduled the deal for and confirmed it. The client only looked at the satellite image, did not bother to read the notes, never bothered to call the customer and discuss it, but not five minutes after the submission, they disqualified it, asked for a refund as it was too much shade. Turns out in the notes, I specifically said that if you look at a satellite image, the house looks like it's under a jungle canopy. None of the trees are there as they were knocked out by Hurricane Sandy. Don't you think I gave it to another client of mine and said, I know it's a little bit outside your coverage area, but please uh, take this appointment. It's going to be a good one. It was. It was a 25K system and he sold it, thanked me very much and actually gave me a bonus for it. Called the original client back and kind of rubbed it in his nose for cutting his nose to spite his face to save a few pennies. All right, please don't do that. Uh, your appointment time and date. Please let me know if you have any questions. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And I thank you for your business once again. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.